Hey, it's Chris Nichols here again from the camera store, and we always endeavor to get you guys the latest and greatest information. So check this out. This is the brand new Sony NEX VG10, and this really is the design of the future for video cameras. We're gonna see a lot of cameras coming out now like this. Sony's the first to do it, and the unique thing about this camera is it's got an SLR sized chip in it, but nice and compact. Now, if you guys have done some research on the net, or if you've been looking at the cameras, or coming to the store, watching our videos, You've probably seen and heard of the fact that we've got new SLRs on the market now that shoot their own high def video. Cameras like the famous 5D Mark II from Canon and Nikon's D90. Well, it's about time that somebody would come out with a camera that's more purpose built for video shooting. Something like this, a camera that has interchangeable lenses, has that beautiful large chip, but has a design which is more conducive to shooting motion picture. A lot of people have found SLRs to be a little bit difficult to use, a little bit awkward to shoot, but this thing gives you nice manual focus, a compact handling, the ability to point and aim as you'd want to for a video camera, low angles, smooth transitions. This is gonna be the future. And that's, that large, large sensor, that, that APS-C size sensor is going to ensure very thin depth of field for creative shooting, and it's going to give us great low light performance, very little noise. So let's check out some of the features of this camera. Okay guys, now the Sony VG10 does use the exact same 14 megapixel sensor that you'll find in their Sony NEX3 and NEX5. And because of that, it also does use the exact same lens mount. The whole rig is the same. And this is fantastic because it's really hard to get interchangeable lenses in a video camera this size and this caliber. It's being shipped here with the new 18 to 200, which is an excellent super zoom. You're getting a 10 times optical zoom, and this does incorporate Sony's optical super steady shot image stabilization. This is the same system they use in their pro video. It's excellent, very stable. You can walk with the thing, and it still gives you nice stability. But the great thing is we've got other lenses available. Now, if you look at Sony's new 16 mil, this is their great little uh, ultra wide sort of lens that they have on the NEX3, NEX5. Tiny on this camera, it's a prime so you know it's sharp. It gives you a very compact design. It's great for tracking shots. This is gonna give you a 24 millimeter equivalent on an SLR. And of course, Sony's gonna have lots of other lenses coming out for their NEX system as well. But it doesn't just end there. If you're an existing Sony Alpha user, you have that compatibility too. We can throw on all of Sony's Alpha lenses. Now check out this beefy lens. This is the 135 1.8 Zeiss lens. Beautiful. But with Sony's new proprietary adapter, I can slap this right onto my VG10. So this means that all of my SLR alpha glass can go right on here, give me beautiful results, and give me the equivalents that I want. So you got a lot of lenses available, and of course you got a lot of brand new lenses from Sony coming out in the future. So, what is this camera really trying to be? It's definitely a hybrid. You know, it's got a lot of features that a high-end video camera would have, but it's not quite there either for a full cinematographer. And it also has the same features as the NEX3 and the NEX5, so you can take 14 megapixel stills. It's got all the same manual controls for photography on here. So what, what's it doing? Well, let's take a look at some of the facts and some of the features of this camera and see what it's really trying to provide. Now, as far as a video camera goes, we do have some very high-end features. Uh, let's start with a microphone. This beautiful four-capsule stereo microphone and they do actually give you this wind cut device. Now in the industry we call this a dead cat, uh, but it's very nice, it's, it's hard to find. Most cameras wouldn't provide this. You've got a really, really high-end audio source right here. And it does have external mic input, so you can go ahead and use other external mics as you want to. But unlike an advanced video camera, we don't have XLR ports for high-end audio. Now if we take a look at the top here, we've got two shoes and I like this feature. You do have the Alpha flashes, the Sony Alpha flashes on here, but they did provide a cold shoe as well and that's a great touch. Very few cameras think about that. A lot of videographers are going to want to use their own accessory lights or their own accessory microphones or attachments and this cold shoe provides that attachment point. So that was excellent thinking on their part. When it comes to viewfinders, you have a gorgeous viewfinder, fully adjustable and beautiful screen as well. Nice features for a video camera, something you won't find on any X3 or 5. Nice grip, very typical of a standard video camera. It gets away from the awkwardness of holding an SLR and having to shoot video with an SLR. It's very easy to get to the focusing controls here. It's very easy to use the zoom mechanism here, and it's a nice, comfortable uh, system. But I also like the top grip here. Great touch on a video camera. This is something you'll find on a high-end pro video camera. It gives the ability to do nice, smooth tracking shots or transitions from low to high. It's great with the accessory viewfinder. It gives you a really, really nice stable platform. This is a great feature to have on a compact video camera. Okay, let's talk about some of the video formats this camera offers. Now, 
This camera is going to be great for the consumer because it does record in AVC HD, which is a, a simple Kodak, something which is very, very popular on the market. It's not going to impress a high-end videographer, but it's great if you want to throw the thing right to Blu-ray and share it with people. So it's great for the home user. And yet at the same time, if you're out there shooting video and you say, oh, those are great stills I want to take, or I want to set up a great photographic shot, you still have the controls there too. So this is really changing the market. It's a dynamic device.